Hey everyone, it's Susan, and I hope you're all having a great day. I'm here today to do a share with a card that I just finished this morning, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I, I thought it turned out really cute, and um, I really love the colors. So it's um, kind of muted colors in the background, but at the same time springy. So it's my first time making this card and this is either called a pocket card or a crisscross card and there's lots of tutorials um, on YouTube for that and it's super super easy um, so what I did was start with a 12 by 12 piece of um, kind of an eggshell ivory color card stock cut it directly in half and then made my folds and, and then my cuts and then I went ahead and started with the um, Miss Caroline Fiddlesticks 6x6 pad by My Mind's Eye and I'm sure you have seen it and here it is here and I also have all the embellishments and individual little pieces that you can get at your local scrapbook store so I've incorporated a few of those so what I did was after I got the initial base of my card um, cut and um, adhesive down in the front. I went ahead and took some of the six by six pages and made the um, the cuts to layer them up back here, and use my Tim Holtz distressing tool, and I got those all layered up. And then I took a doily here. I folded it in half, and then I folded this top part in about a third of the way so that it kind of made a fan shape and it's kind of peeking out in a couple places around the flowers and then these flowers aren't they beautiful I'm sure a lot of you have seen them but they're new from Michaels and they had them at 60% off oh I don't know two three weeks ago and um, I thought well I'll get a couple of the colors to try them out and I absolutely love them especially for spring and summer aren't they beautiful so here's the white ones you get three in a package I want to say they were $3.99 regular price um, I could be wrong but I want to guess that's what they were and so I used this this is the medium and large one I used the smaller one and um, here's the yellow and I used the largest one, so here's the small and medium. And then here's the pink, which I used the medium, so there's the small and large. And they're so pretty. Aren't they springy, you guys? So what I did was set those down, and then I used two of my Prima uh, wood veneer leaves. And I put those on either side over here. I used an acrylic bobble that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I got these sprays here at Hobby Lobby. Um, here they are here in the bundle. And they came, I threw the package away, but they come in a package like this. It's from the bridal section, his and hers, and they had them half off a couple of weeks ago. So I use those along with um, down underneath here is a little bling flower and that's from one of the newer packages at Michaels they were in the same section as these flowers kind of down the middle aisle and they've got all those new packages um, of fun little embellishments they've got cameos and little metal flowers and lots of bling pieces inside each package and then down here this is kind and this came um, from this embellishment sticker pack. Actually, it's like a 3D um, dimensional sticker pack. And then um, over here, I used a white reason flower that I got from Laura, and she's from the Robin Laura. Thank you, Laura. And over here, I used my butterfly, is the Prima Resist Canvas pack here. And I've had these probably, I don't know, a good six months, and I have never used them. And so I was really excited. I love them. I really, they are really, really cool. So I sprayed that with um, my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and this is the gold. And um, I'm not the biggest fan of gold. I'm more of a silver gal. But I really was happy to see that this is more of a yellow. To me, it's it's a yellow and actually matches the flower really well. So I was happy to see that and I thought it turned out great. And then over here, I used my Cricut Penance cartridge to cut out those banners. And I cut those out at one and a quarter inches. And I had these brads in my stash and they happened to match absolutely perfect. So I was thrilled with that. And I layered those up on dimensionals and then used some of my American Crafts 
pink and white twine that I got in a TJ Maxx in the big pack for $9.99. And over here is one of the dimensionals from the sticker pack as well. And then um, here is from the sheets that you can cut from the 6x6 pad. And I love how all the paper companies and manufacturers are um, putting those little... Um, embellishment sheets in there for you to cut apart because they're really helpful and it makes creating so easy you guys so I think that is it for the front oh this here was one of the individual pieces you can buy for like 39 cents on the round rack at your local scrapbook store and then here is the tag so I went ahead and took another piece of paper and um, distressed the edges and put that back there and then the tag here, I used the gray polka dot piece, rounded my corners. And um, here's where I'm going to write my message to the recipient. And then when you turn it over, I went ahead and used my Elegant Edges cartridge to um, cut this tag out. And I'm going to put my information there, Handmade with Love by Susan Jean or whatever. And um, so I use that, and then I use my pennant cartridge again. Cut these out at one and a quarter inches as well. And um, so, yeah, that's about it. And it was so much fun, you guys, to make. I like the the crisscross pocket card. And um, these would be really fun for kids because, you know, you could, um, I want to make some where you do the little pinwheel on a stick, and you could, you know, put some, some, um, candies or little treats in there or stickers and stuff things that aren't too two-dimensional so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that I think I'm going to make some of these and maybe even in a different shape maybe a little um, more slender and taller and I'm going to do that for fourth of July I think and put in some little um, sparklers and maybe some of the pixie sticks and kind of fun stuff like that in the red white and blue so I'm hoping to do that here soon to get ready for that holiday as well so I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your kind comments. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks. Bye.